Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the green screen chroma key function in Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got two video clips and an audio clip. I downloaded the video content from Pixabay. So let's go ahead and open up Magic's Movie Edit Pro. And what we do is drag this dancer and on the first line. So we're going to drag it here, we're going to click adjust and that will just adjust the frame rate to match what the video clip is. So we've got this guy doing his little thing here and we want to add this green screen content overlaid on top. So we'll, basically in Magix everything works the opposite way around so this is really the very bottom layer and then the second this one layer here will be a layer on top and the third one will be a layer on top of that and so forth. So what we do is go back to here and we drag and drop the green screen underneath. So that will actually sit on top now. So you can see it sits on top and you can't see the dancer anymore. So what we do is click on this green screen clip and this could be a clip of yourself, right? You could be talking in front of your green screen, doing an introduction for your YouTube content, whatever it might be. Um, I just want to show you how to get rid of the green part. So let's click on the video clip at the bottom here, the green screen content, and we'll go over to effects tab, effects. And in the effects tab, you want to go right to the top and click on chroma key here. And you can see the color green here, the little dot. You can see the background's green. So let's go ahead and click on the green here. Now, if the background was blue, you click on blue. You've got different versions. You've got black, you've got alphas, you've got white color, you've got um, this sort of water effect, and then you've got blue here. you also got a color picker tool. So if you click here, if your green isn't quite like a flat color, you can use this uh, color picker tool here. So you click color, and then it will give you a little picker here that you can click on to pick the specific color. But what we'll do is click up here. This removes or resets all of the options. And then we will click on the green option here and that will remove the background. So if we move across the timeline, we can see the green's all gone and you've got the smoke going here now. So we want to move this smoke more towards the hand. So let's show you how to do that quickly. We'll move down on the effects to size and position. And we'll just click and just drag this to maybe where his hand's going to about to land, right? Somewhere around here. So you can see that. It will bring it in a bit more. Somewhere around here. I want to speed this clip up quickly. So let's click on speed. Let's set it all the way up to something like two. Let's just finish off this little transition. So we'll drag this across. I don't want it to be uh, the video content to, or this, this smoke to show straight away. So maybe around here, as his hand touches the ground, I think that would be pretty cool. Around here, right? And you can see that. So let's just fade it out at the end. We'll do a little fade here, we'll fade it out. And then we can fade out the video clip towards the end here as well and that's about it so let's go back let's click play and here you can see the green screen working the chroma key so it's just an example of how to use it this is not something i'll actually be creating myself but um, it gives you good examples so this green screen content you could have had some video a still image in the background it doesn't have to be video content it could just be a still image and you could have yourself speaking on the green screen and then you can cut yourself out and you can have a picture in the background maybe it's got your logo or maybe it's got some video content and you can be speaking on the foreground and then the video content can be playing in the background and that's just you you on your green screen at home right or wherever you're filming your content so that's how you go about using the chroma key function it's called chroma key sometimes people call it green screen really you're filming on a green screen and the function in most software is going to be called chroma key okay Let's minimize this. That's how you go about using the green screen chroma key function in Magic's Movie Edit Pro. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.